That's right. That's the next primary, Anderson, this Tuesday here in the state of Michigan. And we're not only with voters, we're with voters who are American heroes. These people are members of the Veterans of Foreign Wars post 4553 in southwest Detroit. It's nice to be with you. Thanks for inviting us. We are Thank inside you. the Thank post you. right here. We have two Republicans, two Democrats, this gentleman and the five in the back, independents. We're going to ask you all, because you all can vote, Democratic and Republican primary on Tuesday here. First of all, our two Republicans, this is Rich and Colleen. You saw Donald Trump won tonight. Do you think it's time for Nikki Haley to call it quits? Uh, yeah. Why do you think so? She says she got almost 40% of the vote. That's four out of 10 South Carolinians who it's, won it. That's going to be a tough road, tough way to, to climb. What do, you, what do you think, Colleen? I don't think that she has enough momentum to uh, unify the Republican Party behind her. Donald Trump is in legal trouble right now. He's in peril. Could be a convicted felon in the next few months. Mm -hmm. Could that possibly change your minds about voting for him in the general election once that comes? Not no. at this time. No. Not at all? No. Doesn't pay you? No. Okay. Think he might be too old? Just a number. Just a number. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 77. 77. Okay. Young 77, right? No. Okay. And I'm not going to ask your age. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Gentlemen, the two Democrats, I want to ask you, you both told me that you are ready to vote for Joe Biden on Tuesday. Yeah. Same kind of question to them. Do you think that Joe Biden might be too old for this job? No. Why not? Well, for one thing, I remember uh, when at the end of Obama's term, they wanted him to run for president then, and he turned it down because of uh, the way that the country treated the Obamas. He didn't want the job. Okay, he, only, he, only, he only decided to take the job once he found out, you know, uh, Trump was going to be president. So you don't think he's too old for the job? No, he's not too old. What about you? Uh, I think he's a little too old. Uh, but uh, Biden is old. Trump is old. Four years younger. And, and About the same age. And tell me, Bill and Gitmo, tell me you're, you're both veteran, Vietnam veteran? Yeah. Because yeah. of your hat says it? Vietnam veteran. And you too, by the way? Veteran. Okay. And you? I am not a veteran. But who are you here with? Um, all of my family is oh, okay. veterans. So that we have spouses. We also have friends of veterans who are here also. Now, on the back, the independents. We first want to ask you, Jeff yes. and Corey, both of you have told me that you weren't sure if you were going to vote in the primary, your independents, but you're leaning towards both of you, Nikki Haley. Tell me why. If you well, do vote. Well, um, first of all, as we talked about earlier, um, I think the whole system is broken. Um, and that's why you're thinking of not voting. Correct. But why are you leaning towards Nikki Haley? What will convince you to vote for her on Tuesday? Her speech. Just now, her speech. Just now, her speech. Why were you impressed with the speech? I was. I was. And um, she actually gave me a, a spark of hope that there is some new blood that could do the country well. And when did you serve and where did you serve? I served in Iraq in 2003. Thank you for your service. Corey, Thanks. what about you? Same, pretty much the same thing. Uh, just, just looking at the two factors of the age of the other two contestants and what's going to go on. It looks like if she. I like how you call them contestants. Like yeah. it's the Price is Right. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that's, that way. that's pretty much like it is. Like. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm glad you called it like that. So <laughs> okay. me and you both are on the same wavelength. And tell me where you served and when you. Served. Uh, Desert Storm. Desert Storm 93, United States Marine Corps. Okay. This gentleman right in the middle is the commander of this post, Jeffrey. You're an independent, also. You're yes, saying, I am. You said you're fed up. You're not voting. I'm not voting in the primary. Okay, but why aren't you voting in the primary? You could vote Democratic primary, Republican primary. Why? Why waste my time? Why is it wasting your time, though? No, you want me to, I vote in the election, but not in the primary. Okay, so do you know who you're going to vote for in November? Well, one, we're going to have to see who's alive. Two. Alive, you mean, okay, you think, yeah. people, you think people are old. They're both 80 years old. But you had Nikki Haley, though, too, who's 52. Well, let's see if Nick, Nikki Haley wins the uh, nomination. You know, we got to see who's the dog in the fight. So you'd consider Nikki Haley? Eh, I don't, I don't really follow politics. Tell me where you served. Uh, Iraq in 0405, Afghanistan 2010, 2011. Thank you for your service. Gentlemen, I want to ask you the same question. This is Don and Poncho. Don, you're an independent. You told me that you're a strong Trump supporter, though. Uh, I'm Sal. Oh, so I apologize. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. I apologize. Yeah. I talked to a man, man named Don who left us. Yeah, he left. sit in that very chair. Correct. 
Yeah, but anyway, Sal, so, accept my apology. No. Tell me where you served, by the way. I served in Iraq 2003 and 4. Okay. You told me, though, you were a strong Trump supporter. Correct? I am. How come you're not a Republican? Well, I am. Technically, I am, but I'm not happy with the, uh, <clears throat> with the RNC, the National Committee, uh, how it's been run. Why is that? <coughs> well, uh, with, not, uh, not strident enough? It, it, they just haven't been supporting the candidates, the right candidates, either. But you just, think they should support Trump more than they even have? Oh, yeah, okay. definitely. And Poncho, I'm getting your name right, right? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me where you served. As a... I have not served, but I do have immediate family who has served, and I have okay. plenty of family members who have been in the... Uh, Great. Military. You're independent, you're for Trump also? Yes, sir. Okay, and Dell, final question for you. Independent for Trump also? Independent, yeah, for Trump. Are you supporting Trump, though? Yes. Any chance you'd go for Nikki Haley on Tuesday? No, I can't. You can't? I can't, I can't, because uh, right now, she, she, she don't care too much about anything except for her gaining profit. When she come from being a, an ambassador, she made a lot of money. All right, that's, that's a strong charge, but either way, you're a Trump supporter. Yep. <clears throat> Gentlemen and lady, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your thank service. You. Thank you.